This is potentially my new router. I've been meaning to try out PFSense and uh, there's actually a couple other DIY make an old computer your router OS's um, but I'll be I'll be trying PFSense first because it seems to be the most common one and uh, so I'm using an old computer this is an Intel 965 board I've got a, a Pentium 4 630 in there or something like that four gigs of old OCZ check this out this the part number is Vista upgrade RAM nice um, 80 plus bronze power supply for efficiency a little SSD for uh, silence and efficiency. I mean, the Pentium 4 will have to be replaced if this works in all likelihood, but I just wanted to whip something together so I could try it out. I'm gonna be using this optical drive right here for the OS install. Here's the PFSense OS disc. I've got a couple of, uh, well, I've got one Intel NIC, and I think I had another one somewhere. And then I have also, because it's an Intel board, it does use Intel networking for its onboard, so I have the one gigabit port there as well. And then I'll be using just a, a Netgear switch to do all my gigabit switching. And then I found out of my three wireless cards, this one is the one that has a compatible chipset where there are drivers for the uh, PFSense OS. So I'll be trying the release candidate uh, one for the new version 2.0 of the software. And let's see how this goes. I'm going to get this started. My Razer Naga mouse uh, had to unplug it. It's causing some kind of error to do with the LEDs lighting up or something along those lines, so I'm now in the installer mode. I had to connect an IDE optical drive in order to install it. This old motherboard won't boot from USB optical very elegantly. So, uh, hmm. here we go. Never done this before. Okay, why don't we just accept these settings. Let's do a quick easy install. Uh, yeah, we can erase all the contents of this disk. Here goes, guys. Okay, so I had some instructions before it rebooted to put in 192.168.1.1, uh, username admin, password pfsense. So I gotta do that. It's asking me now. This is on first boot. It shows me my network interfaces. It doesn't seem to be picking up the, uh, the one built into the motherboard, so it's possible that that's uh, not going to work for me. Uh, I do not want to set up VLANs. Hmm. If you do not have at least one interface, you cannot continue. If you do not have at least one real network interface card or one interface with multiple VLANs, then PFSense oh, will not shit. function correctly. If you do not know the names of your interface, you may choose to use auto detection. In that case, disconnect all interfaces now before hitting A to initiate auto detection. I should... Okay. Auto detection time. All right, I guess I better go plug in my, uh, I guess I go better plug in my modem. So a few changes have been made. I'm gonna actually move over to the other room so that I can plug the LAN interface into my network switch and the uh, WAN interface into my router. The router one seems to be working so far, but I haven't had a chance to, uh, here are my two Intel Pro 100S desktop adapters. So I haven't had a chance to uh, to plug the LAN one in because I don't have two cables running into this room. I've also removed one of the wireless cards because since the onboard networking did not work with PFSense, I had to put in the additional um, wired network port card. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I think I figured out the configuration stage of things here. Uh, basically, I assigned interfaces, so I assigned my interfaces to the wide area network and local area network. I set the interface IP addresses, so I set my LAN one to kind of a standard router IP address. And then um, I also had to set starting and ending ranges for the DHCP server, which will assign IP addresses to all of the computers on my network. So right now, I still have... Uh, my PC, the home server, uh, a couple other, com uh, or one other PC in the house connected to my router here. But I'm actually, I've got my PFSense router connected to my network switch there. So I'm going to be using that to test a couple other computers, including this notebook that I've hooked up to find out if this works. So actually, I guess you guys can find out real time what's going on here. 
whether it works or whether it does not. Okay, actually I might need a minute. Okay, so it works. It looks like I have uh, logged in from user admin from 192.168.1.11, which is the notebook that I've connected to my network switch right here. So I have internet access and I have logged into the PFSense web interface. So I'm pretty much done on this side, as far as I can tell. And uh, I have never used this before, so I'm not even going to begin to try and talk about how to use it. But um, yeah, I mean, why don't we do a little exploring? Just right off the bat here to have a look at what we got here. So we got CPU usage, memory usage, which I would have expected to be quite low. Uh, we've got the platform we're running. Here's version 2.0 RC1, which is what I am using. Okay, here's my interfaces, which I set up already in the command line interface. System that has cert manager, firmware, general setup, logout. Now, my understanding is it's a little on the complicated side for networking noobs, which I am one of. So yeah, we're not even going to try and begin to explore this right now, but I'm hoping to be able to figure out how to use it, and then maybe I'll be able to provide an update for you guys. Thank you for checking out this little um, exploration episode of N Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.